and welcome to my January wrap up about all the books that I read in the month of January. The first was It's Not Me, It's You by Mary McFarlane. Sorry if I've pronounced your name really incorrect, do apologise. The plot about this book is about a woman called Diana who's been with her boyfriend for a really long time. She decides that she's going to take the plunge and she proposes to him. He says yes, but then something devastating happens. I don't want to say what happens because obviously it's going to ruin the plot for you. Now this is a chick lit book. I don't really read chick lit that often, but I was drawn to it because I think the cover is lovely. And I actually quite enjoyed it. There's quite a few pages in it, but I've sped through it really fast. It's really addictive and it's just a really good book. So if you do fancy a chick lit, just as a bit of a change, I do recommend this one. So the second book that I read in the month of January was The Comforters by Muriel Spark. I've only read The Prime Miss Jean Brody before by Muriel Spark and I absolutely love that book. So I decided to pick up one of her earlier works. I'm not sure actually this might be one of her first works. And I picked this up because it had a quote on it by Evelyn Moore, who's one of my favourite authors, saying beautiful, original and fascinating. It was definitely original and it was definitely fascinating, but I'm just not sure if it was brilliant. It's about a woman called Caroline who thinks that she's in a novel. And for me, it was a bit confusing. It's definitely worth the read to read some of her earlier work, but I'm not sure if I'd pick it up again. So the third book that I read in the month of January was Catwoman, Volume 3, Death of the Family, written by Anne Nocenti and illustrated by Rafa Sandoval. Apologise about the pronunciation of names again. This is the third volume in the Catwoman series. I read volumes one and two last year in the year 2014 and I loved those. Those were so brilliant. I love the individualisation of Catwoman and how she's quite different to all the other female superheroes. However, in this one her personality doesn't really shine. They changed the author and I was massively disappointed. So I will be picking up the fourth because I already own it but I'm not sure if I will pick up any others in the series. The fourth book that I read in the month of January was Death in the Clouds by Agatha Christie. This is a Hercule Poirot novel. It's an absolute classic and I think I have about eight Hercule Poirot novels to go and then I've read them all. So this one I actually really liked. It's about Poirot who's on a plane with other passengers. He's seated in number nine and one of the other passengers on the plane gets murdered. Poirot, of course, because he's sat there, is one of the suspects, so he has to find out who did it and make sure that his name gets removed from the suspect list. It's really good. If you are interested in Agatha Christie and you're interested in Poirot, then check this out because it's just one of the classics. So that's it. That's all the books that I read in the month of January. If you want to purchase any of the books, I will leave links for them in the description box below. Thank you for all of you that watched my previous video and all the really nice comments on it. It's so appreciative. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you want to and more videos should be coming out in the future. Bye for now.